I like Hearthstone. I mostly liked Classic, Brawly. I don't play it much anymore. I play it probably once a year. And if I play it, it'll be Arena. But I always feel like opponents take too long to think. I prefer to play Blitz mode. They never came out with it. I thought they would. It was like 90 seconds to rope when it came out the game. Now it's like 75. Still feels like ages. And I'm just there clicking the board. <laughs> I thought maybe it'll make a Blitz mode where you need only 30 seconds per turn. But they never did. I would have played that. I was considering playing two games at the same time, but it's not like you can take high-level Hearthstone lightly in terms of, you know, remembering what cards are played, etc, etc. So that wouldn't do me any good at all. It's not like uh, you can just look at the board state and make your snap call. Yeah, yeah, maybe I should just play with Nosdormu every game. But they can still rope you 90 seconds on turn one. Plus it's like, much of the pro play is all about not making any mistakes. What cards do you get? Zero mistakes. Sometimes clever plays and out microing, but mostly just playing as you get the cards. And it is misunderstanding your chances or your risk or making, yeah, a low S a, or just getting unlucky playing. That's what will lose you the game. Mistakes as well. But if you had only 20 seconds to think every turn in a special game mode, wouldn't that be funny? Then you, everyone would be making lots of mistakes. And then suddenly Twitch chat would have even more fun watching. Because everyone would be making mistakes. It means that Twitch chat can feel morally superior all the time intellectually superior they can poke fun at the players even more than they already do that will be good for everyone as an ex rts player i believe o forsen would be one forsen in blitz mode Because he'll be, you know, making his decisions quicker. And the opponents would not be able to play perfect too. No, not, not me, Demon Heart Killer. I mean, Forsen. He's also an ex RTS player. I am a, a current RTS part timer. Yeah, but you're. Okay, I know. It would be less casual, Brawly. But what about just the mode? You'd be segregating the game modes, I guess. But. Probably. Someone could just code it, a blitz mode, in two seconds on this Friday afternoon, add it as an option, and at least allow tournaments to play around with it. It wouldn't even have to be publicly available. Strife Crow was a good 2v2 player in Warcraft, yeah. Illidan's the best hero in Warcraft 3, right? His ult is OP as heck, like Terror Blade. Yeah, Illidan and, and, and uh, Samuro, like the Blade Master and the uh, Demon Hunter, are the best heroes in this game. They're both agility based, which is fairly favorably looked upon when doing stats. Yeah, Strifecrow and Axlaf were both what was derogatorily called unit masters. A bit of StarCraft spirit. 
in uh, a Warcraft game. People uh, yeah, disrespected that because it seems like they had a little bit less micro and a little bit too much brains and tactics to uh, you know be winning against these micro players. Very offensive. As a more of a micro player myself as well. Uh, actually, I'm a bit of a macro, but as not a two v two player, I really took offense to getting outmaneuvered by uh, people that play two v two with more planning. Love the WC three stream Bought Rock and TFT day one of release. Still my favorite game of all time. Glad to see you still going strong. Done. Yes, Chieftain. Greetings, friend. Done. For my ancestors. Thank you very much, man. For the time, Master. What do you want, Master? Are there any items you would keep with TC? You sold everything. Yeah, I'll keep Mantle. I sell survivability. Um, especially the low level survivabilities. And I sell damage. Uh, when you're planning to go one hero, it's not worth keeping things like damage on a strength spellcaster hero. Basically, TC is a, a warrior with a mage's kit. So you want mana with him. Survivability, good, yes, but it's got to be something like Talisman of Evasion, not Slippers of Agility, you know? Not Gloves of Haze, not Claws. Circlet is fine. Circlet has a bit of mana as well. So this is the Doctor. No, this is not the Doctor Cool request yet. This is the um, to the clock. He wanted Taurans and Tauren. Ready to soar, master. So the Wyverns are mostly to establish map control initially. Uh, without Wyverns, I would not be able to steal this one as confidently. Mainly because it allows me to attack the DK. Don't build there, there's something in the way. Uh, actually, Ensnare would do pretty well as well. He's like heavily preparing his, um, what's it called? His anti air defense. Preparing a defense, Your Honor. And the fact that he's circling back to base tells me that probably he already has it. And I mean, the normal thing would be. Orb of Corruption on DK, I suppose. Or Cryphian Cri Web, I mean, since he's going web. Did 
to try out the new patch. Actually, 20 hours ago, the developer said that uh, it's down for maintenance because there were some bugs. So. I didn't try it. Actually, I did try it. It's not true. I did try it. Perfect. Saved up a small bank. Got rid of all my useless wyverns. Kappa. Now I can fully counter his destroyers with my torrents. I think you can just travel around with Destros with impunity. Uh-uh. This agility intelligence is pretty good. So he's got a lot more uh, creeping done than me. What I need is about 700 gold, and then I can start to get my second hero creep a bit. I think he's like level 5 5, kind of nasty. Uh, get my second hero creep some. Okay, good. I don't think I can actually wait that long. I need to creep right now, so I'll just go over. I don't really know what to get. Ready to this guy's always good. I'll shake that right 
One day I'll get pulverized and then he will really have to watch out. Free healing. You just make my alchemist without having to heal solve him. Big mistake by him. Papa. He really cuts everything. So sick. At least undeads do not tend to expand. And he has master banshees too. And he has an expansion. Not very long yet though. Alright, this guy is a serious mastermind in counters. All the right moves. Don't rush me. 
Wanna blow something up? He might have a shade. DK5. Dark Ranger 3. He doesn't even have that many destroyers. I wait over my advance. My number one prio will be to kill Necropolis. Did he really TP? No. I had to TP fast enough so that uh, he wouldn't get possession.
I mean, the bats are pretty expendable at this point anyway. Because, um... What do you want? Something you're doing? He doesn't have air. <laughs> He has air. Something you doing? Greetings, friend. That's some nice tyrants you got there, buddy. Should I remake my alchemist? Has he proven to be useful? I'm not sure. It's uh, really choking me that he has these uh, watchtowers, the vision there, and shades. He doesn't see this. Could be bad. Do I do some tar on her? Yeah. Don't don't even ask. Oh, no, 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 we do not. I changed my mind. <laughs> 
you got. None shall pass. I stand ready. Done. You will not find a recipe. Wanna blow something up? You will not attack. Honor guide me. I'm just going to show him my expansion because I'm a nice guy. For my ancestors. And yes. Care for a cocktail? Brutal, yeah. I stand ready. I just got extra motivation to win. Man. He has shown a crack in his perfect. Visage. Did you see that? The torrent popped right out. Greetings, Warcraft 3 subs unite. Grub flex, grub want grub flex. One of those. I'll get that mixed up. You got it. OP banshees, man. Get for a cocktail. Our 
gold mine has collapsed. You up. Greetings, friend. Six months B A B A A A A Y Y Y Y. Why 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 why? Oh, he got a raider too. But he messed up. You don't know how to use raiders like I do. No one does. Thank you very much, man. Hi Grubby, hope all is well. If you're feeling up to it, would love to see some worker. Harass with rain of fire or some other AoE. Pip Lord, AoE hero need not be your first hero. Thank you, love the stream. Say 
a word. I stand here for a cocktail. That's a nice home. Yes. Something you're doing? What would you ask of me? I stand in daily. Say the word. Yes, chieftain. For my ancestors, need something. Wanna blow something up? Say the word. Work complete. Yes. I'll get that mixed up. You got it. I'll get that mixed up. I We smart. Wanna blow some shit Care for a cocktail? Take that right up. Man, say the word. I thank you. I stand. Go, Grubby. Less than three. Go, 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 go. Thank you, man. Yes, chieftain. Your love, my lord. Wanna blow something up? Need something. An excellent plan for my ancestors. Greetings, friend. You've entertained me for over ten years playing WC3. You are a great guy and a great player. Thank you. This is an intense match. Rooting for you is always. Thank you, man. Get that mixed up. Don't rush me. You got it. Yes, say the word. Care for a cocktail? Don't rush me. I'm all stuck. Yes, Chieftain. Ready to work. Work complete. Yes. I can. Care for a 
I need our kill of all up. I should reskill to war stand. I think not yet. Yes, 
I don't have to use it yet. I purchased it, but I don't have to use it yet. I need Invol and Alchemist as well. I'll get that mixed up. Don't rush me. What would you ask of me? Need something? I stand. Wanna blow something up? I need orders. Care for a cocktail? For my address. Wanna blow something up? An excellent plan. Yes, Chieftain. Need something? Man. An excellent plan. That's just for safety. I have reincarnation, but I don't want to burn it yet. Okay, I think we're ready. You guys ready? As ready as you'll ever be? That's the correct answer. I'm not a Mormon. Oh, moron! I <laughs> IQ 55. I can see how he would be fooled by appearances. Wanna blow something up? Your command. You love my new recipe. To the clock. Thanks for the easy request. 
53 minutes and 59 seconds. Oh, amazing game. Thank you very much. Do Warcraft games always take so long? No, this was extremely <laughs> unusual. Yo, what's up, trying down this? You don't even know what happened. Yeah. All right, I can summarize what happened for the dummies. Like try down this. Uh, for all the morons out there who didn't get what just happened, allow a moron and a dummy here to explain. <laughs> What happened? Let me drink a little bit of water first. I had a lot of open mouthness that game. Do you want the sarcastic explanation, the troll, or the real one? We want the moron explanation. Okay, I see more real. Okay, so the real explanation is... I got a $25 request to play a chosen hero and unit which are both very unmet unmeta for good reasons he asked me to make the tarn chieftain I first thank you. which is a great thank you very very much <laughs> that's the guy Sorry that it took thanks to that guy face. no it's so good i loved it uh so uh tarn chieftain makes for a great second or third hero as his stats of tanking damage and dealing damage are fairly low he is like a tank, like a meat shield, but he doesn't do a lot of damage. He is very reliant on his spells, and to get your spells higher level, uh, you actually need to get more XP. You need to get a higher level uh, TC. Level 1 TC isn't that good, but level 5 or, or higher is really good. Uh, so generally, you'll make him as a second or third hero, because by that time, first of all, his aura effect will have a greater effect. Uh, the endurance aura is uh, attack speed and movement speed. So if you have an aura for a small army, that's not as good as an aura for a big army, right? So he's a great late game addition. Uh, secondly, because armies are big late game, whenever you fight, a lot of units die on each side. And when a lot of units die, you get a lot of XP. And when you get a lot of XP, that's really good in, a, in particular for low level heroes, because they don't need as much XP. And so you could have one, two, or even three levels up for a low-level oh, hero, thank you. bringing TC. Stupid Mormon, but seriously good game. Thank you very much, uh, Marco. Uh, a a low-level hero levels up really fast, and it brings TC to relevant levels. Useful. Anyway, he asked me to play TC first, which is really tough, because as you could see, I couldn't creep her very well. So I have a bad start, generally. Uh, and then... He also asked me to make Torrents, which is a tier 3 unit. There's none that is more expensive than the Torrent for Orc. It's the most late game, end game unit that you can possibly make. But everything counters them. They're really strong if you're a target dummy. If you fight against them, melee, just close your eyes and fight. Just take it and give it. Punch each other. Okay, that's what Tarns hey, excel at. Can I request a Blade Master plus Walker plus Raider game? Russ, there. Yes, of course. I will put it on the uh, queue. Raider Blade Master Walker. It's. Uh, I need to write it down to remember Please such an outrageous friend. request for my 57 month sub. Russ, there. Thank you so much. I have to write it down. It's a bit out of the ordinary. Uh, but yeah. Everything beats torrents except weaker ground units that don't deal slow. And because torrents are slow, 
So everything can kite them, everything can outrun them, shoot them from afar. Air units defeat them because they can't attack air. Anyway, he, he said I should play Torrents and it was quite a stringent, you know, criteria. So I end up going for a ground unit to a really strong and big ground unit, but it's still a ground unit. It cannot attack air. And in order to bridge this obvious fallacy in the strategy, I had to make some air units. Wyverns. Uh, the, the, the fast flying, high damage, extremely fragile orc air unit. In that sense, I would have a counter to destroyers or frostworms, two of the greatest threats to torrents. However, he didn't go mass destroyers or worms. He went for banshees. A banshee is occasionally seen in the matchup of undead versus orc. It's a spellcaster unit that you can upgrade twice as the game goes on. It becomes um, higher health pool, higher mana pool, better regeneration, and it gets two new abilities. The first new ability it gets is an anti-magic shell. It's that green glo globular thing that you saw on all of his units now and then. It absorbs, I think it's up to 400 magic damage before the unit even takes any damage at all. And it's a pretty long-term cost for a relatively low mana cost. The only downside about it, he needs to prep it. So he needs to be ready for a fight anytime. If if a fight starts and he still has to cast 20 anti-magic shells, it's too late. So he continually preps himself with anti-magic shell so that my shockwave doesn't deal as much damage. By now I had a badass high level TC, somehow I survived to the late game. I made a lot of watchtowers to defend my expansion since my army was always defeated by his. So I had to play rat style, hit and run, and just try to ring around the rosy, make expansions in the corner, hit his bases, I was doing everything, and this is what was part of the source of frustration for him, because he obviously prefers the, the part of Warcraft 3 where you just fight, and he doesn't prefer the part where he just runs after me, and I keep out rotating him. And uh, this is this is why they call my style rat style, or hit and run, or base trade, and it's what I'm kind of known for, is because I'm avoiding the fights. It's like you're you're in a boxing ring, uh, but uh, your the opponent, the, the other boxer, yeah, you're both getting ready. Your coach is like uh, encouraging you, and uh, it's about defeating each other and knocking each other out. And then the other boxer suddenly jumps out of the ring gets into his cars, drives through your home, and he throws a brick through your window. And it's like, that's, that's so lame, right? But it's a valid strategy, except only in the purpose of the analogy of this game, not in real life. That's what it's like. So anyway, I made my Wyverns. They got hard countered by his existing crypt fiends. And so I lost my wyverns, then he had some destroyers, I was like, oh god, destroyers, I make bat riders, I kill his destroyers, but I still got a bunch of bats. But, so what's the next best thing that bats can do? Uh, kill bases. So I continue with the base killing plan, I keep trying to make expansions. I thought that 6 towers was enough top right, but it wasn't, so I made 12 at my next base on the left. Which was really nice, very helpful. Greetings, friend. Uh, and then finally, I was like, I'm not getting anywhere, you know. I had the one base, he had the one base, he took another base top right, he kept denying my bottom left base. All I had was a measure of cost efficiency, the reincarnation of my Tarn Chieftain. Greetings, friend. That was my best resource. Mana regeneration. Reincarnation on TC so that I was allowed to die once now and then and then come back for free. And saving up my money under 50 food. That was my main advantages. So I leveraged that advantage to Something save up a little doing? bit of money. Thank you very much. I'll He's wait for this one. With chain at one meter against human <laughs> Can we see it against that race next time Humi comes up? It's gonna be uh tough to complete it on my alternate account hopefully when I do one of the other requests and I see a human I can do that Mobius thank you very much I'll put it on the queue um, so 
yeah, finally I was like, all right, how about just I make another expansion without towers this time to save some money. And then as it gets to about 70 percent. Wow, thank you. Best boxer explanation ever. Can you play a game using a paladin? Mm. Maybe it will happen. Uh, so finally, I thought if I just use the last money to make a big group of wyverns and then I attack as my expansion's almost done, then I don't need to invest money in the peons. I will get my alchemist six. I can transmute some stuff. Uh, which is uh, killing a unit instantly and then getting the money back. Uh, you kill his unit for your mana, you get money for it. It's really freaking funny. I, n I didn't get to use it this time. Uh, and then, yeah, my expansion was up in the final fight. I so, and very importantly, Robbie, what could he have done to counter you and win the game? Thank you very much. Uh, very importantly, I'll answer in a sec. I reskilled to War Stomp because he still had anti magic shell, so Shockwave was reduced in value. Plus, Death Coil and all his heroes were too strong for me to deal with, so War Stomp as a way to disable his units and his heroes in particular gives me the chance to use Wyvern Focus Fire without immediately getting destroyed and eaten up by his spells and, and crit fiends. And then that would give me finally an opportunity to kill his heroes. End of story. Uh, so what could he have done to counter me and win the game? I mean a number of things I guess uh, I think he already did very well all things considering uh, But for what he could have done was never make meat wagons. He did and he shouldn't uh, And what else he should have killed more stuff in my base remember when he killed my bishery when he cancelled the bishery at my 12th tower expansion that's because I lost my tier 3 building. And I was afraid that he would kill that and both bestiaries. Had he done that, then I wouldn't have been able to make 10 wyverns. Because I had no tier 2, no tier 3. No raiders, nothing. I did get uh, a lot motivated when it looked like he was a little angry. <laughs> did that friend. elucidate the game a little bit more for you, Tridanielson? I was going to simplify the explanation, but in the end I didn't. Yo, Sora, thanks for the sub, man. Yeah, I don't like meat wagons. Uh, actually, meat wagons would have worked against my 12th tower expansion. But they he misused them and he misrallied a few units as well. He misused them against my top right expansion. The tome that I got on my TC is a book of retraining. Uh, it deletes all your ability choices for 300 gold. And then you can reskill your hero. Yeah, and he didn't press his advantage enough, like, I, I threatened his base with, like, two raiders. He would TP for, like, two heroes, two raiders. 